Are you living dangerously on your Amazon advertising account? Well, if you're not regularly downloading your backup bulk sheet at least once a month, but probably once a week, you are. Hi, my name is Matt Davis. I'm the director of advertising here at My Amazon Guy. And without further ado, let's dive into the how and the why. Let's go to our advertising. So we'll jump into our advertising campaign manager. Now, the why of this is so if something happens, something goes wrong, you can revert back to how you work. So let's just say, first, let's go sponsored ads over here, bulk operations. So this is the same place we would make our bulk updates, right? If we were going to make a bunch of bid changes all at once, we're going to macro cha name, name change all the campaigns. Um, this is the same sheet where we would do it, right? It's the advertising equivalent on the listing side of a flat file. We just call it a bulk sheet. Now, why? Why do this, right? Well, let's say you have an employee that comes in and accidentally deletes or changes, halves the budgets on all your campaigns. Or let's say you were really happy with last year's results and you wanted to, you're curious, what was I doing on Amazon advertising this time last year, right? Amazon advertising is only going to back up themselves at your advertising data about 60 to 90 days, right? Um, so anytime you want to either be able to go back to how things were, to revert a mistake, um, you know, a Bad bid changes, didn't things didn't work out. You made some macro changes, didn't go like you wanted, right? Someone accidentally did something. Or you want to see what you did this time last year, two years, three years ago, to see what you did well, what you did not well, so that you can learn from it. That's where these bulk sheets come into handy, right? You can download them, share them on a shaved drive somewhere else, somewhere separate. And then if you need them, anything goes wrong on your console, you have them 15 seconds, you can upload them, and you're back to how you work, right? Every bid change every uh you know targeting type um down to the last detail so it's a very quick and powerful way all right now there's a couple things to note here they did recently change the format on this guy you can still use the legacy format though in this case i don't know why you would there's a couple column differences but it's not any simpler um and the new format allows you to catch all of the campaign types not just um, sponsored product. So it's it's definitely an advantage to use the new one, I would think, but certainly with anything, anytime Amazon changes something for a while, they let you use the old the old version. And actually with shipping, I still like you, I still like the old uh, API. So anyway, um, all right. So then you got your date, date range, right? Depending on what you're doing. Um, if you're backing up every seven days, certainly that's uh, what we do with my Amazon guy, right? My team downloads uh, a backup for every client we have at least once a week. Um, but if it's more, you know, when you want to do 30 days, that's fine too. Um, but for the purposes of this, we'll do seven days. Okay. Um, next, it's important to note, this is asking us what we want to exclude, i.e. the things that we check are the things that we're telling Amazon to not include on the report, right? So terminated campaigns, the top one. Um, I usually leave that checked. I don't normally need to see terminated campaigns. Again, unless you're in the case of that scenario, I, one of those scenarios I gave you uh, a few minutes ago where you know your employee deletes half your campaigns then obviously terminated campaign data would be very pertinent very relevant uh, in this case for the purposes of this i don't think we need it um so i'm oh sorry see i almost got confused there myself so i'm gonna leave it checked which means i do want to exclude it i want it kept out of the report campaign items with zero impressions i'm gonna uncheck this one right because that could be an active campaign if it's getting zero impressions that means it's not getting displayed anywhere nobody's seeing it that might be information that I want, right? That's pertinent. If I've got an active campaign with an active budget that's getting zero impressions, I would want to know why. So I'm going to leave that. I'm going to uncheck that. one. And then brand asset data, I'm going to also leave that one checked. That's like logo information, creative information on certain types of sponsored brand and sponsored display ads. Um, in the event that you were curious about A-B testing a different logo or a different watermark, that's when you might include that brand asset data. But for now, we'll leave that excluded, right? So we'll create a spreadsheet for download. You see it says file requested down here and it's giving you this guy right here, right? Now, because I knew this was coming and because I know this is a big account, this is Steven's monster account, which we all kind of use. Um, I pre-downloaded this a couple of minutes ago. So I hope you'll give me, forgive me the liberty because I didn't want to sit here uh, waiting indefinitely. Um, okay, so I hope you all can still see my screen here. So here we have a series, right? At the top level is your portfolios. And this is another great reason to always use your portfolios, right? For organization, after an account gets a certain size. Portfolio identification, a name, right? Whether it's active or not, right? Whether it's in budget or not, also very important, right? That's super valuable to see at a high level glance. 
Um, and then you've got the different product types and you can see here, it's got all the information, campaign name, it's got unique identifiers for the campaign, right? Campaign ID, ad group ID, um, right? All the pertinent information, everything right down here. You've got bids, right? The default bid for an ad group, the bid for an even target, what you're targeting, what match type, some performance data, right? Clicks, orders, et cetera. Um, so this is very powerful. So that's it. Download your bulk sheets once a week, save them someplace safe. That way, if you ever need them, you can have them and go back at the flip of the switch. My name is Matt Davis. And for more tips and tricks, go to our Amazon channel, uh, excuse me, go to our website, go to our YouTube channel. We've got a plethora of videos uh, on our website. You can book a coaching call with me. You can book a call with Stephen Pope, our, the Amazon guy founder himself. Um, thank you so much for your time and attention. Have a great week.